Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, welcome to the tour of the West Lincoln Community Care Thrift Store in Smithville, Ontario. It's a community in the midst of the Niagara Peninsula. Interesting, it was our first visit to this one. Um, I was looking in the, on the map and uh, there was one there. I thought this community might be big enough to have one, so that, that's why I had searched. In any case, it's a very nice facility. It's been given the what probably would have been the office area of a uh, substantial industrial warehouse. The industrial warehouse is still operating. They've given up one aisle of their warehouse space for this, uh, for the... Um, thrift store along with the what probably was the office area of the warehouse originally um, nice collection of items uh, there's uh, the hard goods as usual there's a nice collection of furniture nothing of uh, great vintage but uh, uh, items that were in reasonably good condition for what they were and uh, yes, there's also some jewelry, there's some handbags, there's clothing. There's they're nicely separated into various groupings, as you can see. The artwork that they have is primarily in the, the warehouse aisle. You'll see that in a moment as we get into through this video. Uh, there's also a section with books and CDs, VHS, CDs, and similar. You see some of the furniture here. There's some of, definitely some of the older style items. Even the stuffed stuff is somewhat older style. A few more classic ones. I don't mean the sofa, but I meant the uh, wing chair to the side there. Yes, they have some nice glass. As I said, nicely displayed. Across the road is actually a farm. It's farmland. And there's a, a kind of ubiquitous Tim Hortons is uh, just from the main road to the, into this location. There's one of those. Here's our book section, CDs. So these are the pocket books, or the trashy novels as some people call them. And there were some LPs along there somewhere. Uh, they do have a change room, but it's all closed during our visit, which happened when there was a higher level of COVID restrictions. Here you see some more of the decorative items, uh, some electrical, electronic stuff, uh, fry pans, cookware, things of that nature. Stemware. Like I said, nicely grouped up. It's almost as if they had somebody who had worked in retail. This is the warehouse section. On the other side of this racking is the, you can see the chain link. That's actually the warehouse is in full operation behind there. 
So whether they did it as a uh, tax deduction or whatever, that's not mine to concern myself too much with. Here's some of the artwork. I'm not saying they're high end or anything. They're nice, nice decorative pieces. Some of them are sun faded. If nothing else, uh, many of them would have a very nice picture frame that would may well be cheaper than going out to buy uh, just a picture frame on its own, considering there's also matting included. There's a couple of things like a triptych here. And here we are, we continue. It, from the doorway into this little hallway, it, it extends both to the right and to the left. To the right is a very small section, to the left is the larger portion, but you can go in both directions. The sporting goods and larger children's toys, for example, were on the side with the racking, the artworks on the side of, with just the wall. Some more of the art. Like the map there as well. And that's the end of the section that we have. I believe that the, the rest of that aisle is the um, thrift store room, back, back room storage area. Like I said, some of the larger children's items are over there. Some vacuums as well. And we're back out front. First portion had to do with the portion to the left of the cache. Now we're looking at the area near the cache. We've got some Things I believe there he had a silent auction thing going as well there. It's become something of a thing in a lot of thrift stores where they think they might get something more out of them. I think I found at least one Hawaiian shirt here. There weren't that many around. It had to do with time of year in part. Either I was too late to see them or I was too early, one or the other. Ah, here we are. Not a bad piece, Oliver and Boucher. More a more tame one. It would probably be more like the business house shirt in Hawaii. Children smaller toys. It's quite a selection of them. On the right hand side is the variety of the women's and children's clothing. And some children's books are over here with their DVDs and CDs and VHS. And then we have shoes, small appliances as we're heading back towards the cache which is right at the entrance. And glass cases have uh, the jewelry, whether it's um, costume or not. Anyway, thanks folks for watching this. Uh, I hope you will consider subscribing and mark yourself on the bell so you'll get notifications. Hope to see you soon at the next video of a tour of another thrift store or antique. Take care. Bye-bye.